mask at all times, protect yourselves at all times, keep it clean, touch gloves, let's go. Fight number one here tonight on Fox. Frank Sanchez, the man right there. Joe Goosen, how about this? Amateur record out of Cuba, 214 and six. Believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, for Cuban fighters, that's not a lot of fights. That's true. Well, <laughs> but I'm just thinking, if you're no, going to fight 220 record, yeah. fights as an amateur, yeah. you're going to lose six bad judging, bad luck. I mean, six losses. No, it's, it's incredible. incredible. It's incredible, but it really is. But I, I have trained, and, and Lennox goes through the Olympics and, and the amateurs. Some of these guys have three, four hundred fights. That's because go. they don't they don't have a pro system going on. Exactly. Right. Round number one. Joey DeVeco out to touch gloves after yeah. a brief dust up comes out, fires a jab right away. Sanchez on him immediately. Now Joey may not look, but he's actually a slick counter puncher. Uh, he'll make you miss. See, he's got a nice little. Nice little style, head movement, he'll, and he'll, he'll make you miss and try to counter you real quick. You know, it's funny, in this era of dreadnoughts, right? So Lennox Lewis here helped usher in large, super heavyweights. Yet, if we've learned nothing, especially here in New York City over the last year, it's that what you look like might not matter at all, right? Andy Ruiz at the Garden. You know, beat Anthony Joshua, the body beautiful. We're going to see Adam Kovnatsky. Lennox, he's not the body beautiful. Neither is Tank. But if you can fight, you can fight. That's true. Uh, he, he does a good job of staying away from punches, and he's really calm with his approach. That's what I love about him. That's why you can tell he's had a lot of experience. He has, and he, and he just slipped. And he stepped back and slipped a nice right hand by Frank Sanchez, who is really good with that right hand. One of my uh, associates in the gym sparred with Frank Sanchez. You know what he told me? He said, it's the first time I felt my life was in danger. I sparred with everybody. <laughs> Was with Sanchez, so he's, he's a dangerous man. Sanchez is doing a good job right now at keeping the distance, and that's what he's supposed to do, especially against the shorter man. I like the way you said that. My associates in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my associates are in the gym. Sanchez, uh, very disciplined, they say, in his camp. Uh, defected from Cuba when he had all that success on the Cuban uh, amateur system. Uh, was not placed on the Cuban Olympic team in 2016, so he defected to the United States and has been very busy as a pro. Ten fights in 2018, four in 2019. And they say he is always in top condition. It's just a matter of getting now the experience necessary to climb the ladder. Yeah, and he brings a lot of experience with those 200 and something amateur fights. But I gotta tell you, Frank Sanchez just threw a really nice, a few seconds back, left hook. Uh, and Joey uh, DeVeco put his right hand up and automatically went right off of that with a counter shot to the body. It was really very tricky stuff. And uh, this is the type of fight you've got going on right now. It's sort of both guys are keeping their hands up well, and they're very aware of punches coming out of and where their defense should be. So first one to be able to crack that defense is going to be in good shape. Sanchez tries the jab, blocked by DeVeco. DeVeco knows like he's here to be the, as I mentioned, the rugged opponent. Uh, comes off a win after three straight losses, but he's fighting real competition. He lost to Sergey Kuzmin, who's 14-0. Brian Jennings, who's 22-2. So he comes in as the opponent, but he's been giving rising heavyweights some very good work. Round number one in the books, a night of heavyweights in Brooklyn. Back here for round number two. This was the start of round one. They touched gloves. Wait a second. Lennox, are you supposed to touch gloves when your opponent does that? No way, because it all started from the uh, weigh-in where they were giving each other mouth. I'm like, if somebody was giving me mouth at the weigh-in, I'm not touching his gloves. I'm coming right out no, to the way. No, Lennox, but, you were touching well, no, guys' gloves. Wait a minute, I've no, never Brian, seen it. Brian, <laughs> you're supposed to touch gloves at the, when the referee's giving you the instructions. That's it. All right. You don't have to touch gloves once so you the bell So the protocol is. is? The protocol is touch gloves when the referee's giving you instructions. That's it. No, it's not. It's not. I mean, great cricket. the heavyweight titles are all in Great Britain. Right, right, right. Awesome Joey, Joey really needs to um, do a little bit more offense instead of waiting. He's waiting for the counter punch. And sometimes you, when you wait, especially when Frank is so fast, it's hard to catch him on the way out. You basically have to put him against the rope so he can't run away. Sanchez did a good jab. a good long jab. He's got that height advantage of 6'4", to about 5'10", 5'11". So he's able to use that, obviously. Boxing skills are there as well. Nice right to the body on DeVeco. But, Joe, you brought up in the last round that uh, DeVeco is, is quick. There's a lot of nice, slick things in the ring. And his counterpunch. You've got to keep a close watch on it because 
at the very end of the round, Sanchez threw a left hook, and Deveco slipped it and went to the body with the left hand and then a hook to the head and landed it. It was very clever stuff. Deveco, also a uh, Polish heritage, so he said he would enjoy being here tonight. Obviously, it's going to be a huge throng of Polish fans here tonight for Adam Kovnatsky in the main event. When you look at that build on Sanchez, he just looks like a powerhouse. And, you know, he pulls that right hand. Remember the first time we saw him yeah. fight and he missed that right hand? He missed it and we both went, right. You know, no, he throws a great yeah. right hand and, uh, he, you know, he needs to put other punches together like he's trying to. But first, you know, he has to establish that jab. Yeah. And that's what uh, his trainers at the fighter meeting said that, you know, they, they want him to box a little bit more, use a little bit more lateral movement to jab, right? Yeah. Sanchez gets up with a right hand, fires one back. You see the punch stats there, and Sanchez uh, outlanding his 15 to 6 in round number one, 7 4 in round two, so a sizable advantage, but a good competitive fight. Good straight jab by Sanchez. That's a scoring shot. Now Sanchez is getting on his wheels a little bit and like he should because what he was really doing in the first round he was standing in front of uh joey and that's a, the wrong thing to do against a guy especially when he's fresh in a fight like this do you like that lennox you know that he's 223 do you like him getting up moving like that that's yeah. A, yep. yeah he looks good when he moves like that it opens a lot of a lot of things and you know you got joey standing in one spot waiting to counter punch which is a mistake He's, he's forcing Stefeco to re-engage and try to get himself set back up. That's round two. There's Frank Sanchez out of Cuba, now living in the United States. Let's get more on him with Heidi Andral. Heidi? Thank you very much, Brian. Well, he had an interesting story. You know, like a lot of Cubans who make their way to the United States, he actually left, went through Mexico to get into the U.S. This was back in 2016. Found himself in Miami, Florida. From there, he ended up in Las Vegas, where he was homeless for four days, actually living on the street, sleeping on the street. He's a success story, and you know what? He even told us a, a little fun fact about him. He likes to play the guitar alongside his brother and his father. Brian? Heidi, thank you very much. Frank Sanchez, there we asked him if you have any hobbies. He said eating. <laughs> it's a good hobby. And, and the, if I if I could point something out real quick, right in the corners of uh, both guys, you've got Ryan Garcia's father, who's standing in for the ill trainer for Frank Sanchez, right? the great prospect, Ryan Garcia, and Garcia's in the corner. And then in the opposite corner, somebody who thought Lennox Lewis, Justin Fortune, who's the trainer for uh, Joey DeVecco. So. Six degrees of separation. Was it yeah, European absolutely. Championships, Lennox? European in Championships yeah. in Ireland. Yes. And, how, uh, how did it work out? It worked out great in my favor. <laughs> for you, yeah. <laughs> Not for Justin uh, as well. That's the first time I actually boxed a really uh, short guy with tree trunk legs. And it was hard to knock him out because every punch on the chin he was just coming back at me. Headgear back then, though, right? No, no head. No headgear back then. No. Oh, okay. Here, here. here, round number three. Frank Sanchez in the uh, gold and red trunks. Joey Tofeco in the white and red, red Poland. He's Frank Sanchez getting up, showing a lot more movement now, dancing around. He's and a it, lot it, more I, of that ring. Go ahead. And I, and no, I like what Sa Sanchez is doing. I mean, he can hold his ground a little bit more and go after uh, Joey. And he's a very accurate puncher, so uh, you know he should, really should depend on, on his accuracy because um, he throws great punches and he doesn't really waste punches. I've never seen him miss too much. He's good. The hook is starting to land as well by Sanchez. So Rebecca kind of complained there. He ducked the right hand and it hit him towards the back of the head and he looked for the referee for some help. And he said, no, you know, you caused that yourself. So. Um, Deveco's getting, getting a little frustrated right now because of the movement. And look, he wishes Frank Sanchez would stand in front of him a little bit more because his style depends on you throwing something and you being within reach of him to counter you. And right now, Sanchez isn't letting that happen. So he's fighting a good fight. It's a 10-round fight. Uh, we're, we're only in the third round. There's plenty of time for, to settle into this fight and start throwing some more bombs in the front of Sanchez. Yeah, Sanchez is part shotting right now, which is, you know, basically, you know, because uh, Joey's standing in one spot, he's, he's even able to throw hard. Sometimes gets out of the way and sometimes not. 
Michael trying with the right hand, trying to close that gap as Sanchez clearly using a lot more distance now in these last two rounds. And you can see, well, that, that's the, the amateur training Lennox. The, the jam screams right back. Out of right. Three heavyweight fights tonight here in Brooklyn. Adam Kovnatsky unbeaten in the main event. Back in Brooklyn, New York, Brian Kenny with Lennox Lewis and Joe Goosen here ringside. Larry Hazard, Heidi Androll with us as well. Frank Sanchez, Joey DeVeco here, round number four. Sanchez in the red and gold. Joe Goosen mentioning in the previous round that it's Henry Garcia, the chief second, who's in the corner for Frank Sanchez. And his son, Henry's son, is Ryan Garcia, one of the top prospects in the sport. Let's go to Heidi right now. Heidi. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, six more rounds to work, but what did you tell Frank going into this fourth? Basically, told him to concentrate on using that jab, using his distance, take advantage of his height, you know, don't let him come in. So we're basically, our, our fight plan is working. You know, with that jab, he can't get in. So that's what, that's what we concentrate on. Excellent. Thank you very much, guys. Just what you were saying. Heidi, thank you. And that was just as he's saying that, too. Good hard right hand from Frank Sanchez. Uh, opponents, fellas, are having a hard time getting to the second round against Ryan Garcia. We've yeah. seen him fight recently. He has been spectacular. Yeah, he's, he's getting better by the month. Uh, he's, yeah, he's something else. Now, that being said, getting back to this fight here, Joey DeBecco, he's, he's putting on too slow a pressure right now. He's, he's allowing uh, Sanchez to kind of outmaneuver him. And, it, you know, it's one thing, uh, you know, to put on pressure, but it's, it's very slow pressure. If he wants to tire Sanchez out on top of the movement, he's got to really put on some faster, use faster feet and get, get, get him closer. Right now, he's just letting Sanchez dominate. The so, okay. Zeko running in there with the right hand. I mentioned Larry Hazard is with us this evening. Larry, your thoughts so far? Oh, so far, guys. I got Sanchez ahead comfortably, 30 to 27. Hey, it's a great point you guys made uh, early on about that Cuban pedigree. You know, those guys, they come here with two or 300 fights, and even though his professional record, Sanchez, is only 14 fights, that, that two or 300 amateur fights really translates to about 25 or 30 professional fights. Larry, thank you very much. I saw a kid last week in Texas, says Israel Madrimov, over 400 fights. He's got about, what, 11 pro fights right now. They're looking at a title shot exactly. in a year. So, to, right, to your point, it's a very different thing. You have that level of competition. And, as we mentioned with Lennox Lewis, Lennox, when you're fighting at the highest level internationally as an amateur, you're fighting top competition all the time. You're just used to the highest level. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the Cuban team was always a great team. And we always... Uh, was concerned about that team because they had great boxers and most of the guys you're right had over 200 fights maybe sometimes 400 fights and they were you know you could call them pros and everybody was saying oh that's not fair because they you know they don't turn pro but uh that's how the country is no professionals over there just amateurs well what was unfair to, to you it was unfair to them <laughs> right i mean you'd be fighting a guy in his late 20s right yeah. it'd be like you know your early 20s very big difference Final seconds of round number four. Frank Sanchez uh, admonished right there, but winning this fight. Robert Helenius loosening up. Helenius out of Finland gets his shot against Adam Kovnatsky in our main event later tonight. Here it's Joey DeVeco there in the white and the red trunks, the red and gold trunks that is Frank Sanchez. And 93% of this fight has been fought at distance, and according to CompuTrack, which of course favors the six foot four Frank Sanchez. Yeah, Sanchez is just a better athlete in there right now. He can move around and do exactly what he wants to do. He throws that jab nicely, can always connect with that right hand. And you're right, he's keeping this fight a good distance. And there, and that's just a, a good example of it right there. He just threw an uppercut from the outside, eats a right hand there, but that uppercut not even close to Sanchez. DeVeco able to reach the body there. Let's go to DeVeco's corner and Heidi Andrew. Thank you very much, Brian. What did you tell Joey going into this round, Justin? He's going to get busier as he gets in there once he was inside. So I put his hands free and get to work. He's just letting Frank tie him up and, and nothing. He said that he wanted to throw more punches. I know he's a counter puncher, but what would you like to see more volume out of him? Absolutely, I like to see more combinations. To start using your angles and that. It's still early, but you know, that's what I need. I need that pressure early. Thank you so much, Justin. Brian, back to you. Uh, that's Justin Fortune, who we mentioned earlier. Okay. Former fighter, 
fought Lennox Lewis in the amateurs. DeVico trying to force the action there, barreling in. And, and Justin's right. It, it is still early, but it's the halfway point right now, and he's lost most of the round. So it might be early, but... It's getting late early. Yeah, it's late early. You better believe <laughs> That's it. That's Yogi once said, yes. Oh, yeah. We've seen this punch before. Good right hand by Frank Sanchez on the top of jo Joey's head. And, uh, you know, sometimes it can affect your liquid. Look him. Yeah, that, well, that right hand from Tyson Fury was uh, to the side of the head of Deontay Wilder. And Wilder, we were wondering how much that took out of him. There were a lot of things that seemed to be bothering Wilder in that fight, but that was a, that was the right hand to the side of the head. Yeah. You know, it does change things. Put and, it down. And he was bleeding from the air as well, so mm -hmm. his equilibrium is off. They see okay. blood oh. is coming from the left eye of Joe yeah. DeVeco as he's been cut. It's a nasty cut, but he also did it again. Uh, Frank Sanchez threw a right hand. DeVeco came back with a nice short right hand counter. Now, now here's here's the punch. I think we got it on replay where where Joey got cut. He's got the left hand low. Here comes the jab. And okay, let's see. That may have done it. He's had skin that eyebrow. Yeah, just kind of grazed him, yeah. but may have done enough. That's all it takes sometimes. You know, Joey's keeping his left hand down. He's, and he's just really just inviting a right hand by Frank Sanchez right now. And, uh, you know, as this fight goes on a little bit more, you know, he's not going to be able to see them. Sanchez able to get up on his toes. Kind of target practice right now with that jab to Vico. A little more desperate lunge again. Eats a right hand. Gets under that. Trying to stay competitive as he got cut. Frank Sanchez and Joey DeVeco here. We go back in earlier action. DeVeco was complaining to the referee that he's getting his head forced down. You know, Sanchez Lennox is able to do it and then move out of the way. So it's, you know, not as flagrant. That was in slow-mo. It certainly looked flagrant there. Well, I always say, you know, you control the head, you control the rest of the body. And that's what Frank Ch Sanchez is doing at the moment. What should he do to try to counter that? Can he get, get down and dig to the body when he's uh, got that glove on the back of his head? Or what should he do? Yeah, I mean, the referee obviously is going to warn him like he's doing now. But uh, Joey can actually punch him at, in the body when he's that's pushing right. his head down. You know, give him a couple pu punches to the body. You know, he's going to definitely stop that and try to cover up his body and not get hit to it. It makes sense if you have one hand that's out of play and one of the guys next is an opening. Is an opening for you to work with the body. And uh, you know, that's what uh, Sebastian's going to do. Sanchez right. trying to move in with the right hand there. By the way, the referee is Shadow Murdoch. He's done a nice job. So Great job. Too so much into this fight except for had to. So. Joey did a nice move there where, you know, Frank threw a right hand and rolled with it and came back with his own right hand. So we're going to see if we can see, see, see more of that coming from Joey. Joe Goose, let me ask you this. All right, so we're in yeah. round six. We're getting rounds now, right? Domingo's yeah. a tough guy. He's going to give him rounds. Can Frank Sanchez be heavyweight champion in the world? Well, yeah. I, I don't think there's a, any doubt that he's got the right materials. I, I just think that, you know, he's going to have to learn a little bit more. He's got to get more experience. Uh, he's, like I said, he's had a lot of amateur fights, but still, the pros are the pros, and he's got to fight more different styles. He's fighting a different style of night. But, you know, at a certain point, he's got to go for the knockout. He's a knockout puncher. Eventually, he's got the guy cut already. He's got him slow down. He's got him breathing heavy. He's got him punching that He's got to go in for the kill at some point. Because the Beckel is not looking dangerous to me. Right. Yeah, so I, let, let I, it, same same I, question. I, I, I agree with that. I mean, he can basically step it up anytime he wants to because he's the sharper and stronger puncher. The only thing he has to worry about is, you know, Joey. Joey's got a little couple little tricks up his sleeve. You know, he's, he's been there for a, a long while. He's got he had a great training with uh, Freddie Roach, so he's learned a lot of different things. So these are th some of the things you have to be concerned about in these early rounds. Lennox, your gut feeling though, when you're watching Frank Sanchez, are you thinking, hey, this guy might be heavyweight champion someday? Are you there? Are you not quite there? Where are you? Well, you know, I would need to see a lot more of him, but he's got the beginnings of it. He's got okay. some good. He's got good stars, he's got that amateur uh, background and pedigree. And this is what you need, especially to be a heavyweight champion. A good amateur background. Fair enough. You know, I, what, I think, and one thing real quick, Lance, I, I think, you know, if 
if Sanchez were to back up the back, I think the back of White's kind of close to the team. I think he actually, you know, pressured him a little bit and got left to him on the inside. Not just holding the missile, but actually trying to look combinations. I think he'd, he'd, he'd be much better off when he get the back out. Final seconds of round number six. Time! Is really, he's a no-nonsense guy. No frills, but he'll give you everything that you can handle in the ring. Power, uh, pressure, great punch, great punches, a variety of punches. Yeah, he's got it all. We have three heavyweight fights for you here tonight on Fox. Again, starting off here, this is Frank Sanchez in the red and gold trunks. Decorated amateur out of Cuba, now fighting out of the United States. Joey DeVeco of Philadelphia in the white and the red from Poland. Yeah, Frank Sanchez is really just throwing one jab at the moment. When he's, he's, he'll get more results if he throws two jabs. Yeah, and in, in between rounds, uh, the referee, uh, Shadow Murdoch, he warned uh, Sanchez about leaning too much on the neck of uh, Joey DeVecca. So, you know, he's been warned. And, uh, and, and I think he should be because it's, it's really not a good tactic. Make a lunging coming up short. Sanchez dancing away. He's not um, as big as the heavyweight champions are right now. Fury is 6'9". He's in the ring at 270 plus uh, two weeks ago. Deontay Wilder is 6'7". Anthony Joshua is about 6'6", 6'7". Sanchez is, I'd say this, only 6'4". Right. right, so he's not going to walk in against the champs and be intimidating to them. No, I mean, you look at Frank Sanchez's legs. He doesn't really have like tree trunk legs, so but he's got those move, movable legs where you can move around those dancing legs. Serving yeah, well in this fight, certainly. And it's, hey, it served Anthony Joshua well, Joshua well in Saudi Arabia. Second fight with Andy Ruiz. He was boxing the night away. Yes, he was. He did what he had to do. I'm just wondering, as you size him up, you know what? Size matters a lot. You have, especially somewhat the champ Tyson Fury, is that size and he can box and he, he put it all together too. you know as we're talking about thinking about somebody like joe frazier who was you know 208 going against guys that were like four men of course he got beat by foreman but ali who was a big man for the time six four you know 220 225 um you know so little guys can be effective but you know a guy like frazier is just relentless uh, so otherworldly yeah, you've yeah. got to have something really <laughs> special yeah. if you're a smaller guy in the heavyweight division. Especially now. Even right. Tyson. Yeah. You know, he was only 5'10". But, well, you know, he's a power guy. Yeah, 220, right? At his uh -huh. best. And put yeah. people out left and right. You know, I would be telling Frank Sanchez to, you know, throw a, a double jab right hand and then a left hook to the body. You know, after his combination, go down to the body because the body will not move. It will always be there. So it will catch uh, mm. Joey easily. Nice three-punch combination by Sanchez, ending with that right hand that landed. Duwico now is slowing up in his pursuit. Uh, Joey's uh, criticizing uh, quite. So that is a nice jab off that left foot, though. That is Vito Milnicki out of New Jersey. It's, a, it's about uh, 35 minutes away. 17 years old, finishing up his senior year, I believe, at West Essex High School in New Jersey. And he's a terrific young fighter. What nice a, kid. What a, what a great fighter. prospect. He great kid, but better prospect. Was on the undercard two weeks ago in Las Vegas under Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. I sat and watched that fight. He looked terrific again. He looks terrific every time out. We've seen him here a lot on Fox. He's been just an exciting young prospect. And he's got, I mean, that's age 17 season show. It's a Amazing. long way to go. Joey Duveco is at a disadvantage at the moment. Unless he can do something and, you know, what he needs to do is move his feet a little bit more instead of standing in one place. He's, he has no footwork. But it's not his thing, Lance, right? I mean, can he do it? I don't think he can do it. Well, I mean, look, he's coming forward. He's just got to pick up the pace. Just like, uh, you know, Sanchez is moving quickly on his feet backwards. He's not moving slowly. So is Sanchez boxing the way he's up on his toes now and he's got uh, just a very different rhythm. You see him jumping in with the right hand. He looks like a very different guy, yeah. a, a dangerous guy. And he's doing the right thing, he's coming in with combinations and then getting out of the way. And he seems a little cockier too, you know what I mean? He's up on his toes then bang, bang, from the outside. If he can keep that pace, which is difficult for right. a man his size, it's something. You know, Javeco, um, is not really a knockout puncher. And I gotta tell you, knockouts translates into money and excitement and fans. 
at a certain point, I think Sanchez has got to say, all right, I'm done dancing. I've got you beat up a little bit. I've got you slowed down. You're not a knockout puncher. I'm going to take it to you and test you with some combos and not hold so much, not push down, but challenge you and knock you out. You need to sometimes do that. Yes, you're 100% right, Joe. I agree with you there. Thank you. Like I said, you know, he can step it up at any time he wants to because he's just leading the way right now. He's doing what he wants to. This is where you can practice all kinds of different punches, and this is where he actually should be practicing his body punches. Right? Sanchez there, and Deveco is talking to him. He said, he's, uh, I think he is basically telling him, stand and fight me like a man. <laughs> right, That's right. What he said. Tran Toe tran the line. Translation. Yes, I will translate. Right. You know, he's, <laughs> now, he's, 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 he's been... Uh, He's been calling Sanchez a, 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 a few names. The past well, that is, uh, as I used to say, we were talking about uh, John L. Sullivan, who fought here in Brooklyn a century or two ago, and uh, he t and it was told the line. Remember, meaning stand on the line and fight. Don't go dancing around. Stand in front of me. They go with love if those rules weren't affected tonight, but they you, are not. I'm surprised you didn't ask if I was there. It goes without <laughs> saying. <laughs> uh, well, he, well, Joey's making a uh, mistake because this is not fighting. This is boxing. It's sweet science. Yeah. So in the sweet science, you got to use your foot movement. You got to use feints, and you've got to slip punches. Were you what, were you satisfied just to get a, a decision when you knew you could have turned it on and taken the guy out? No. Okay. No. Well, like against David Tua, you yeah. had to move yeah. right until you know, like let's be smart here. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> he felt my he felt my thunder. Sanchez. Dancing away on Fox, FS1, and the Fox Sports app. Round nine in our opening heavyweight bout. Frank Sanchez and Joey DeVeco. It has been all Frank Sanchez here tonight. He's 14-0, 11 of his wins by knockout. This was expected. It's just a matter of in what level of style would Sanchez get his win and continue his ascent. Good body shot there by Sanchez digs in the hook. Like I said, that's what he needs to do. Throw the after that double jab right hand, come to the body. Earlier he was dancing and you know he said it was rhythm. It looked like the rumba he was doing. <laughs> I like that though, Lennox. He, he's still punishing DeVeco doing that. It's not like he's dancing and, and avoiding contact. He's stepping in and punching. I, I think he just looks like a better fighter when he does that. I agree. I know you can get criticism. Look, Vladimir Klitschko did for years. Anthony Joshua did completely outboxing Andy Ruiz the second time around. But it was the smart way to fight. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of people said he could have stepped it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, he did what he needed to do to win, to assure the win. He stepped in and threw enough thunderous right hand. Sanchez suddenly, certainly done some damage here in this fight. He's just here to win this. And he's been... Disciplined in that way. That happened in the previous round, too, where Deveco bent down in front of Sanchez, and Sanchez did not lean on him. So he doesn't need to be reprimanded. No, or no, no, no point being taken away. Or disqualified. I mean, if he could be punished first, but that is not, <laughs> is not given a, a reason to shot a Murdoch to take anything away. All right, it looks like Sanchez is going to be comfortable just getting the decision. Now, in all fairness, you know, Deveco's only been stopped one time in 31 fights. But if you knock out a guy that rarely gets stopped, that's a big feather in your cap, and I'd be shooting for that if I was in the corner. Of Sanchez. Right. Okay, he made DeVeco miss every punch in that last round for the first two minutes. DeVeco did not land a shot in the opening two minutes of round eight. So, you know, at a certain point, Lennox says, you know, you throw a shutout. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, you're not booing me. I'm moving. Maybe you want me to knock a guy out, but I'm winning and winning going away. Yeah. Although I hear what you're saying, Joe, right? If you want, yeah. you want money in the, in the coffers, knock people out. You want attention, knock people out. Yeah, yeah. Now, in all fairness, DeVecco did land a nice right hand and a short little left hook on the inside of the little body shot. Yeah. So, so able to move Sanchez back with that shot. Yeah, yeah Sanchez has to watch his balance a little bit. Uh, that's a couple of things that he needs to work on in the, in, in the gym is the balance. We're going to keep it here between rounds and uh, we're going to try to go into the corner. Joey DeVeco, you know, hear what uh, Justin Fortune is able to say to DeVeco here as he's in a desperate shape. Right hand lands just before the end of the bell. DeVeco fires a shot well after the bell. And Referee did not see that. 
Yeah. You're ready. You're ready. This is the last round, okay? Don't let him keep it go coming inside. That's what he wants to do. He wants to take the body and then come with the over and right. So be careful. Just be careful. Last round. Well, you know, it's an interesting question, isn't it, Joe? Do you want to be careful? Hey, win this, box this guy, as they say. Or, hey, you know what? Step into this guy. And you'd rather see him be a little more aggressive, right? I would. I would, absolutely. And, yeah, I mean. We, we, and the last thing, we didn't get to hear Justin Fortune's instructions, but I know what they were. What were they? You need a knockout. Go get it. Yes, that's, okay. what, that's what it was. Yeah. Round 10, final round here. Good hook by Sanchez. A little faint with the jab. And that was, I didn't see that until we saw the replay, that right hand from DeVeco. So that does remind you that DeVeco is a dangerous fellow at close range, still. Well, he's, he's, using, he's, using, he's waiting for that right hand by Frank Sanchez so he can counter punch. Mm. So that's what he was actually doing. But he's got to do a lot more work in there. And he's got to be more in a hurry because he's, he's losing this fight. Stop punching, no punching, step back. Well, he's pretty much lost this fight. He's got about <laughs> two minutes left. And he really needs to do something drastic. And I don't think it's going to happen. Even if Sanchez sat in the pocket with him the last two minutes here, I don't think Sanchez is in danger of getting hurt or knocked out or dropped or anything. I, in fact, I think Sanchez has a better up, would have probably have a better opportunity to hurt uh, DeVeco if they actually just stood toe to toe right now. I think a lot of it too, fellas, is it's where you are, you know, on, on, in the top ten or where you are in the, the heavyweight system. I know last week, Joseph Parker had a fight against Sean Del Winters. Again, not a heralded guy, but a tough guy. And Parker had said before, hey, if I want to make some noise, I have to knock guys out. And he ended up getting the knockout. But that's Joseph Parker, who's solidly in the top ten, right? So I think for Sanchez, it's like, hey, we're still at the point where we're getting wins, moving toward the top ten. But you want to get the top ten quick, more quickly, get knockouts. Right? Yeah, but he's, you know, he's still learning as a pro. He, he may be the best amateur in the world, but as a pro, there's a lot of things things he needs to uh, work on balance is one of them footwork is one of them and uh, the double jab that's a good point that was a good hook by the Baco there a few seconds ago he was able to land something and again that's part of what you get when you sign up and say hey let's get Joey DeVeco in here you know you're going to get a tough guy in front of you well I got to tell you you see guys throw weights on down sit in the pocket round after round doing some beautiful stuff on the inside very clever stuff and there's no reason that a guy like Sanchez can't learn that. It's what gets you knockouts, but this type of tactic gets you a decision. You gotta have both, you gotta be able to play, play it for both ends. They got a headbutt there, Vico complaining. As they went head to head, now Shadow Murdoch will separate them. Let's see if there's any blood. Tommy! And we're back. Kodeko's okay, got 30 seconds to do some drastic. It's doubtful it's going to happen. We've seen crazy with him, so I mean, it, but it, it's very doubtful. It looks like uh, Sanchez is going to pull out a nice, you know, a Stop nice answer here, a nice, and beautiful I think this, boxing exhibition uh, decision. I think there's balance between both what you're saying. Here's Shadow Murdoch again. Let's listen in. Mouthpiece. So it's the mouthpiece for Kodeko. I think there's, again, I, I hear what you're both saying, and there's, there's some wisdom no, to no, both. No, 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 ain't no water. Just put it in there, man. Just put it in there. Let's go. Yeah, can't Time do that. Have a, little, have a little drink, final 10 seconds. But in that, this a solid boxing performance by Frank Sanchez. Gets a win, basically. Stop, 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 stop. I mean, throws a shutout here. 10 rounds. It's all Sanchez. But he did have to work against very tough and game Joey DeVeco. That first, though, Frank Sanchez, Joey DeVeco. We have a decision, and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans, after 10 rounds of action, the judges are in agreement. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Kevin Morgan scores about 98 to 92. Julie Letterman and Ken Ezzo both score about 100 to 90. All three in favor of the winner and still undefeated, the Cuban Flash, Frank Sanchez. Was that 98 or no, 98 to 92? So. 90 to 100. Wait, no, for two. What was the first judge? Did they give two rounds to to DeVeco? That's all I'm asking. What's that? Did they give two rounds to, yeah. to DeVeco? What, what rounds could they find to get that? You know, not that it matters. That's a good question. Where could, where could you find here? I'm, I'm looking at... All right, let's, I'm going to look at the scorecards, and you guys take us through this. So here's Frank Sanchez. Again, Sanchez looking for a level of progression fight, and he looked really good tonight. Yeah, he's throwing, he threw a great combination there. 
is depending on that right hand that he's oh he's had good success with that right hand and that jab yeah you know right here sanchez he just he had faster hands uh he had longer arms he was able to get in and out more quickly uh from deveco and deveco just you know he was hoping that early on sanchez would stand there and bang with him and he didn't he'd get those punches like that run them back and maybe turn them a little bit or or box them again but